Well, hello, my name is Jason. Uh, I live in Savannah, Georgia. This is my truck, transport bike. Uh, it's a cargo bike, as you can see. Um, bought it about a month ago. There wasn't a whole lot of reviews online uh, for this bike in particular. Um, a few reviews I did find were mainly by dealers and that kind of stuff, more promotion than actual um, user review. Um, it's got some uh, great features and a couple of drawbacks. Um, but uh, kind of get into it, I guess. Um, start at the front here. Um, Chuck did, uh, was nice enough to do the uh, front brake with the disc brakes. Um, front rack, um, right that's about 25 pounds. Um, I usually carry a small cooler on the front. Um, has this uh, neat little spring deal here. Not uh, real technical or anything, just a spring. But uh, that little cooler sets up here. Um, and the weight of my cooler doesn't pull the bike from one side, pull the front on one side, and flip the bike. It holds it nice and center. Also paddling down the road. Uh, if you got a little weight up there, it takes all the weight out of the steering. You're not having to work by holding it straight. Uh, cool little feature. Um, the step through design on the frame, um, almost a girl's bike, but not quite. Um, but a surly big dummy has a higher crossbar. Um, I didn't really think anything up when I bought the bike, but we put stuff on the back. You can't swing your leg over, depending on what you put on the back. So you got to pick your leg over, go over the top bar. This lower bar, much easier to get your leg over. Um, you just gotta get used to the look. Um, doesn't matter any different, um, but like I said, it's just a look thing uh, once you get over it. Um, water bottle cage right here, great idea to you actually try to use it. Uh, put a water bottle on, or put a cage on, put a water bottle on it, you just about to stop to get the bottle in that. So I did buy a little bracket, put it up here on the handlebar, but uh, do that this week. Um, another thing track is cool enough to do for you um, is center stand. Um, they included the bike. Um, not really wide, so not side to side. Not the best in the world. Uh, it's not like a mad center, a big dummy where it's real wide. Um, so you gotta be careful how you load it. You gotta load it evenly. Um, but not a big deal. Um, front fender. Uh, Trent gives you a nice front fender with a little left flap. Uh, it does work. Uh, keeps you trapped. Um, move on to the back. Um, how Trek did theirs, their cargo bike was, we'll go over that second. Um, they only lengthened the wheelbase maybe seven, eight inches. But overall, it's a full size cargo bike. Um, and when they did this, it's a shorter chain, so you don't get a bunch of chain slap if you're um, going down the rocky road or whatever. Um, the rear rack sits up high, um, really kind of too high. Um, it should be down closer to the wheel and function more as a fender, but um, what Trek did was put it up high for whatever reason. Um, they do not give you a rear fender. That is a must have. Uh, just from, simply from the aspect of you will end up filthy. If you go through any puddles or anything, this is all open right here and it's doing nothing but spray in it the whole time. Um, so I included that with my purchase price. Um, really saves your uh, clothes, your pants, legs, and that kind of stuff. Um, no rear uh, disc brakes. It does have the regular brakes, but no disc brakes. Now we get, I've had 100 pounds back here, stops just fine. Um, you start to use your front brake a lot more. Um, just one of those things you get used to. Um, it's set up, and the rim is set up for disc brakes, the frame and the rim. So it's a real easy add on. Try to stay get to uh, I guess keep cost down or whatever, but it works. Um, the side racks, 50 pounds a piece, one on each side, 100 pounds on the top. 200 pounds, 25 on the front, 225. Good luck pedaling that. 
Um, it is geared to death, but it ain't. I wouldn't want to tell the 225. Right here, little pin right there, pull it out, right flips up. Put the pin back in. And it's locked in position. Won't flop down. What that does, you got stored in smaller spaces, apartment people or if people you just need to save a little bit of space. That saves you almost a foot of overall bike width. Um, it's narrower this way than the pedals. If the pedals will fit, you're good to go. Um, like I said, you pull that little pin, flips down, and you're ready to go. Um, nice beefy aluminum frame. Um, oh yeah. Back here, uh, what they did, real low bottom right. That doesn't look that low until you ride it and you realize how low the pedal height is to the ground. Um, that doesn't sound like a big deal. Going over curbs and stuff, that means this is even lower. Um, no excessive curb height or anything. Um, it will hit the ground, it will scrape. Uh, it's happened a few times. Not a big deal, but um, definitely not enough of a big deal, not in my life. Um, price wise, um, $13.50 is retail, um, you can get it a lot cheaper without a problem. Trek isn't really pushing this real hard, there's not a huge market for it. So if a dealer has it, they just want to move it, they want to generate a market. Um, it does come with one bag, not two, only one. Uh, you can purchase a second bag. Uh, for 150 bucks, or not. <laughs> um, it's a real nice bag. I don't know if it's 150 dollars, but it's nice. Um, it has three clips right here. One, two, three. You can go on the frame. And it just slips, slides right off. These straps go right in the frame. I mean, literally eight, ten seconds, and you're good. The nice thing is, eight, ten seconds, you can take it off, take it in with you. Go to the grocery store, go shopping, or whatever. You can load all your goodies up in the bag. Slip it right on, and you're good. Um, you don't have to mess with plastic bags and your recycled bags and, and your uh, uh, earth friendly totes and all that stuff. Just have a bag, throw it in the shopping cart, go with it. Um, lady at the checkout counter looks actually kind of strange, but whatever, she'll get over it. Um, Oh, on the rear fender, um, notice I didn't bother to cut the tabs off or anything on the fender after I sized it up. There's no point. You can't get to it. I mean, I can cut it off, but it serves the purpose and weight really isn't my concern, obviously. Um, it does come with a Bontrager tire that is a uh, triple flat protection. I don't know exactly how well it is, but I did ride at 35 miles to the country uh, last weekend, and it was some dirty asphalt. Um, everything from nails, just side of the road stuff, and I didn't have a flat tire. So I don't know if it worked, I don't know if I ran over anything, but I didn't have a flat tire, and tires just feel really good. Um, Traction-wise, you don't have to worry. That it's not something you have to replace right away. Um, just an all around nice bike. The saddle is, for me, uh, stiffer than I'm used to. Uh, let's say I've had it for a month, I'll give it another month. If it hadn't softened up, uh, or if I hadn't toughened up, then uh, we'll do something about it. But uh, really, just an all around wonderful bike. Um, I did go to the local bike shop this uh, week and I actually ordered a uh, handlebar setup to go off the back here so that my three-year-old could uh, ride on the pad, um, make it a pad for her so she could uh, ride back there. Cause she's not big enough to really want to put her on a, um, a trailer bike, but um, she's way too big for the 
the seat and everything. So it's the way she can still go out and play with dad. Um, done everything from the grocery store runs with the bag to um, 35 miles to the country. Uh, yesterday, went cruising through uh, downtown Savannah, about 20, 25 miles, played tourist, went around, saw a bunch of stuff, took some pictures, that kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of stop and go and in traffic and stuff. And it's a real attention getter. Like, you get attention from people, other cyclists. Um, every time you stop, you get a question. Um, if you don't want to talk to people, don't buy a cargo bike. <laughs> you get a lot of the, uh, how much stuff can you put on? Well, I don't know how much stuff you want to put on. Um, man, why don't you just take a car? If I got all that much stuff, I'm gonna take a car. Then I got, I got a Jeep, I got a truck, I got a motorcycle, and I got a cargo bike. So I'm not the uh, hippie gonna save the world kind of guy, but um, I just like it. I just give up part. Um, like I said it's, I really, uh, really just enjoy it. Um, money well spent. Um, the Madison, the bucket bike, really nice setup and everything. But I just didn't like when you took the bucket off. I didn't like the frame that was left um, as far as racks and stuff go. Um, but it was only four or five hundred more. But I mean, the bucket has its definite advantages over a rack system. The rack has a different set of advantages. The uh, Surly Big Dummy. Um, I really like the fact that the Surly Big Dummy that the wheel goes all the way to the back of the frame. So um, makes it a little more maneuverable, in tight spaces. But thousand dollars more. Um, didn't like that part. <laughs> um, like I said, just a all around aluminum frame. I live right on the salt water. Everything rust. Don't have to worry about it. Um, just wanted to put out a, a real life uh, review of the bike. Uh, give it a little praise. Uh, but just go ahead and tell you that you need to have a rear fender. And um, right here, this is everybody else's big complaint. Uh, these rattles. Um, easy way to fix it. I keep my bag on this side, no rattles. Uh, the other side, I just put a bungee cord on. Uh, if you're going to put anything on the rack, you'll have to bungee it down anyways. Not going to stay there by magic. So, might as well use the bungee cord even when you don't have anything on it. Uh, poor men's solution. Um, a lot of people were putting uh, washers, concave washers, in, in to tighten everything up. But, like I said, bungee cord, you're going to need it when you get there anyway, so it just seemed like a good idea. Um, I did not put a cycle computer on this bike. It is slow. I don't want to know how slow. Um, I just know it's slow. <laughs> um, I get there eventually. Uh, we do a lot of group rides uh, around town and stuff. And I'm never last, but I'm never going to be first. Um, just, like I said, just all around good bike. Uh, not first in the world, not best in the world, but just an all-around solid good bike. Alright? Just wanted to throw that out. Thanks.